Hi, this is Irina Slutsky reporting for Geek Entertainment Television on location in New York City with Richard Stallman at Hope Number no. 6. Hello, Richard. Hello. And I have a question for you for our audiences. Um, if you were to meet someone who doesn't really use computers, how would you describe to them who you are? Well, I would explain that I, that I started the free software movement and that that means that users have four essential freedoms. Freedom zero is to run the program as you wish. Freedom one is the freedom to study the source code and change it to do what you wish. Freedom two is the freedom to make copies and distribute them to others, which is the freedom to help your neighbor, to be a good friend. And freedom three is the freedom to help build your community, which is the freedom to distribute your modified versions when you wish. And then since this person is not a programmer, I would help the person understand why these freedoms are important with an analogy between programs and recipes. Okay. You see, a program is a lot like a recipe. Like a recipe, I have to say, we often bring up my father, Boris, who loves borscht. And so actually in our program, we always use the recipe borscht. So okay. you bring it up very timely, cabbages, yes. potatoes. Well, a recipe is a series of steps to carry out to get the food you want. A program is a series of steps for the computer to carry out to do the job you want. So it's no surprise that the same freedoms are essential for both. And in fact, people who cook are accustomed to the same four freedoms. Freedom zero, freedom to cook the recipe when you wish for whatever purpose. Freedom one, freedom to study the recipe and change it so that the dish comes out the way you wish. Freedom two, freedom to copy it and hand out copies. Freedom three, freedom to distribute your modified versions of the recipe. So everyone who cooks will imagine how angry they would be if these freedoms were taken away. So then I say, just imagine, well, that's, they didn't do that with recipes, but that's what they did to us with software. Okay. However, again, since my father bores, you know, obviously he makes borscht all the time and he changes the recipe and gives it out to his friends. But what is this for him? You know, he really just turns on the computer and sends me an email. So how does this free software, how is this important for him? Well, what I, well, it's important for him partly because he should be free to share it with other people and he should be free to run it as he wishes. Those are freedoms that even he can exercise even though he doesn't program. What is your answer for shopping online? Because clearly that's something that we all want to do. Well, I don't do it. Right. I basically, until I can do it anonymously, I just don't. Is that possible anytime sure, soon? Of course. Well, well, anonymous shopping? I don't know. Technically, it's not hard. Okay. It's a matter. It's not a technical issue. It's a business issue, and uh, I suspect that Bush is going to try to stop it. Bush himself? <laughs> well, the Bush regime. Yes. I don't think the Bush regime wants people to be able to do anything anonymously. How come? Why not? Because Bush wants total control. They say this is. Well, sometimes they say uh, terrorists. Sometimes they say child pornographers. Whatever it might be, but. In fact, it's because they want total control over anyone, everyone, and they want to be able to catch dissidents and suppress them. So I'm not expecting this, but I don't do e-commerce myself. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I ask someone else to do it for me, ah. just so that I won't be in the data. So you don't mind putting your friends in danger? Well, I don't think they're actually in danger from these things that I might buy. Well, then you're not in danger well, either. Actually, I have an, I, I have an idea. Okay. It's not that I'm in danger. It's that I don't want the information to be collected about me. You see, it's not that I'm doing specific things that I think I get arrested for, but that I don't want Big Brother having this collection of information about people. Now, I have an idea, a business idea, that maybe some company could do. Oh, listen up, Which you is, companies. But it's got to be a company with a lot of stores. Okay. Like The Gap? Well, it's more, I would suggest. Yeah. Because basically they could say... Starbucks. Come in, uh, show us on the screen what you want to buy, pay us, we'll order it, we'll give you a receipt with a number on it okay. and, for the, and saying the amount you paid. And when it comes in, come here and we'll give it to you. Okay. This would be anonymous purchase of all sorts of things through the net. Anybody with enough stores and the ability to just keep the things that people have been ordered for a few weeks. Okay, so maybe Starbucks, you know, because they're now opening Starbucks on the way to the Starbucks. So perhaps that's enough stores. Well, I don't know, but yeah, they have a lot of stores. 
a, a, a convenience store company would be in a very good position to do this, I think. So what is it that you uh, would like to learn today at Hope 6, if anything? Oh, I came here to give a, give a speech. <laughs> I don't have time to learn. It's a sad thing. What do you want us to learn from you? Like one thing that you want me to, to learn from you. Defend your freedom. A fool and his freedom are soon parted. Ah, very good. Defending freedom just for you.